most of us also like to hear nice things about ourselves. For example, look at you wearing polka dots and stripes to have a festive mood today for an all ages service. This month, our congregation is exploring the topic of deep listening. Really listening to someone is one way we treat others with love. Love is the most important value of our religious tradition of Unitarian Universalism. We now say love is at the center, the center of everything. And if love is the most important value of our tradition, listening respectfully to others and carefully to others is one of the best ways that we can practice being a Unitarian Universalist. Listening carefully and closely to someone comes naturally when they're talking to you about something you like or something that interests you. Most of us also like to hear nice things about ourselves. For example, look at you wearing polka dots and stripes to have a festive mood today for an all ages service. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it's easy to listen to someone when they say nice things about you, how good you are at something or what a good friend you are to them. It's also easy to listen to someone talk about something that you really also are interested in, such as soccer or Taylor Swift. It's easy to listen to someone when they tell you something that's good news like what they got for their birthday or that they're excited about Halloween because they have a really good costume. But sometimes listening to other people is easy, but sometimes listening to other people is not very easy. Sometimes listening to other people is actually very hard. It can be hard to listen to someone when they're talking about something that does not interest you or something you do not like. You may not want to listen to your friend tell you about going to a baseball game if you don't care about baseball very much. You might not want to hear someone talk about a movie that you saw and didn't like. It's hard to listen when you're not as interested in the thing someone is talking about. It's also hard to listen when the things someone is saying are hurtful or even hurt your feelings. And it's just hard to listen to people talk about difficult things in general because the news upsets us and makes us sad, like the flooding in the southeastern United States caused by the hurricane or the war in Ukraine or the situation in Gaza in the Middle East. Or talking about somebody in your family or someone you love who's sick or not feeling well. And yet it's really important to be able to listen well even when it's difficult. Sometimes when someone is telling us something that's hard to talk about or something that means a lot to them, but not so much to you, that's when they really need you most to listen to them. I know I really like it when people listen to me. I like it when people to listen to me talk about happy things that I'm interested in. And I like it when people listen to me when I have to talk about difficult things or how I'm feeling sad. Just knowing that someone is listening to you or will listen to you helps a lot all in itself. Just knowing someone is listening helps us celebrate good things and makes hard things easier to handle. I know that when someone listens to me, I know that they care about me. Every Sunday, when we share milestones here, we do that so that the people sharing know we are listening. And from that deep listening, know that we love them and care about them. Sometimes listening to others is the very best way to say, I love you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. It would help me out a great deal if you liked the video, to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others, 
Maybe ring that notification bell so you can be informed when we put out other videos like this. Check out my website and blog at TonyLorenzen.com for even more resources that will open your mind, touch your heart, and inspire your spirit.